Okay. All right. Look at the camera. Lindsay, can I get you to stand there with John and Hank and whoever? Nothing happens at Habitat without a lot of faith. So um, we are very excited to kick it off today, and um, it'll be a labor of love over time. So Pastor Rick Svensson, Swenson. Swenson from uh, Trinity Lutheran is here to uh, give us a house blessing. Thank you. I'm the visitation pastor there, so that's basically what I do is visit elderly people in their homes. So I get into a lot of homes. and. On this wonderful occasion, I got to thinking of uh, a number of years ago, I'm originally from Minneapolis, and uh, I was going through my old neighborhood, driving through my old neighborhood where I lived up until through fourth grade, and I drove by my old house, and uh, there's a gentleman mowing his lawn, and we made eye contact, so immediately I pulled my car uh, it, right close to the house, got out, introduced myself to this gentleman and said, I grew up in this house. And this guy was nice enough to, total stranger, nice enough to invite me wow. inside and say, this, this is what it looks like now, come on in. It was great. I mean, all the memories of, of that house and that gentleman was nice enough. In fact, he even knew what happened to some of the neighbors I grew up with. Wow. Hmm. So that, that's something I've never forgotten, and I, I, there's going to be so many good memories yeah. here yeah. for you and your family. So I've got a couple Bible verses sure. about blessing a house, and then I'll, have, then I'll have the prayer. And uh, Proverbs 24, by wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established, by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. One more, Second Chronicles 7. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and consecrated this house that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will be there for all time. One more, I have indeed built you an exalted house, a place for you to dwell in forever. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So this particular house is the Building on Faith House, and it's sponsored by congregations throughout Pierce County. And I want to invite, I know the Transportation Club is here. Thank you for being here. Uh, but if you're a member of a church or a faith community, we'd love to book you on a day to build specifically again on this house. So thank you very much. Um, we have some other very good friends here today that I don't want to miss out on. I think we have, where is our friend from Firmly Grounded? Is he here? He's off working probably yeah, in another working. house. Yeah, All right, Mark here. is off working. We also have Men of Trinity Lutheran. Raise your hand. Woo thank you, thank you. Um, Print Northwest. All right, thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you very much. Um, the Trust Company. Who's here from the Trust Company? All right, thank you. So you will see that some of your signatures are on these studs that are the basis of Lindsay's house. So, Lindsay Ravina, <laughs> would you like to say a few sure. words? Sure, thank you guys. Um, when I heard that some like we would be receiving a board. I was like, oh, that's great. When they told me you're getting all of the boards, I, I just, um, Christina Rupp got to tell me that. And I just, I sat there crying for a few minutes because it, it's, this is bigger than me. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, I'm great with words with other people, but not me. Um, It's that big and it's that much of a blessing that you guys would would choose to do something above and beyond yourself meaning that yes we can pour our energy into doing something for somebody else but then we give a little bit extra and that little extra is something that I I don't deserve and a lot of people say yes you do you look at your needs look at what you have look at what you've done and I'm going no 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 
I know me, I know my heart before the Lord, I know what I struggle with. And to receive, to receive this home, this is a gift. Even though I'm buying it and I have a mortgage, <laughs> this is still a gift. Um, no matter what somebody says, it's still a provision and something that's given to me. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it without you guys. I couldn't do it without the, that little extra and that provision. Um, again, it does allow me to continue that healing process. Um, I have learned that um, grief comes in all forms, shapes, sizes, timing, and it is, um, it's a challenge. It's, but you guys give it a joy and a peace, um, and I so appreciate that. The Lord has been gracious, and um, I'm thankful that in my weakness, um, he's he's my rock, he's my foundation he's my wall he's my rock um, and these homes these boards your signatures your investment really has helped me um, I don't want to sound cheesy but um, I can't wait to walk through this home and just to continue to pray for this neighborhood and each one of you that invest so much in us um, thank you I appreciate it. journey begins yes so um thanks everybody so much now i know you can have break because you're like so ready <laughs> so um thank you all for being here we'll hope you come out again um linda's yeah, gonna need your too. help to get the rest of it up. i'm here every so. saturday until we have our house and then beyond that i'm actually in charge of the maintenance and grounds and preservation of this community so i will be out and about so please say hi stop by if i don't remember your name or your face please remind me but um I don't want to lose contact with you guys because it means the world to me. Thanks, everybody. Right. Thanks.